So let's move on to Venezuela, uh, a country you think about so little you didn't even realise that's not Venezuela. <laughs> this is Venezuela. Actually, that's not Venezuela either. This is Venezuela. <laughs> Except it isn't because Venezuela was the first one all along. But the fact you didn't notice is the point. Venezuela's leader, Nicolas Maduro, has been going through a multitude of problems domestically, from food shortages uh, to electricity rationing to massive inflation, and it all came to a head last week. In Venezuela, a 54-year-old woman threw a mango at President Nicolas Maduro's head. You can see the 54-year-old woman tossing a mango to Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, hitting him right in the head. The mango had a message written on it. If you can, call me, the message said, well, this, this sounds like the premise of an adorable romantic comedy. I'd love to see Paul Rudd as the president, Sofia Vergara as the woman, and Paul Giamatti as the mango. It turns out, it turns out, it's good casting. It turns out the woman desperately wanted an apartment, and the amazing thing is, it worked. Maduro says his government will give Oliva what she asked for, an apartment. You will get an apartment and it will be given to you in the next few hours. Wow. That is a fast government response and a pretty dangerous precedent for the president of Venezuela to set. Because now everyone knows if you want something, write it on a mango and throw it at his fucking head. And unsurprisingly, that's exactly what's happened since. Me llegó otro mango. I received another mango. A red mango. Here it is. They wrote down the phone number. They gave me a mango today, just now. Mangoes are in. It's the time of the mango. You see, I have it here. Mangoes are welcomed, lovingly. But hand it over gently. Don't throw them. Hand them over to me. This is fantastic. The president of a country basically begging people to stop throwing mangoes at his head. And to the people of Venezuela, I say this. Keep doing it. <laughs> Send him your mango demands, or demand goes, as I call them. In fact, we should all be using fruits to improve government efficiency as well. Next time you need an expedited passport renewal, wouldn't it be nice to be able to say, three weeks is a little too long for me. Let's see if you can speed it up a bit. Yeah, this is a honeydew. That's how angry I am. I've written to you on a garbage melon that only exists to fill out suspiciously cheap edible arrangements. Let's do this thing.